Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 useful tips and tricks that come directly from Apple and of course iPhone users must know them and of course use them on their device. These are pretty pretty helpful and will make your life easier using your iPhone on a daily basis. Now before we get into the video I just want to ask you guys for a huge favor. Now what I'm seeing here on my channel is that most of you guys that watch my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel so if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now first off we're telling you guys how to share your calendars. Yes, you can share your calendars with other people, of course, from your contacts list. Now, the first thing you need to make sure this happens is to go to settings, go to at the top to your iCloud and make sure you have calendars enabled on the iCloud because you only will be able to share iCloud calendars. Then you go to the calendar app and tap right here on calendars and here we'll have a section for your iCloud and what you need to do here just tap that little i button at the calendar that you want to share then tap right here add a person and from here just pick anyone from your contacts to share the calendar with that person once you choose the contact simply tap add of course you can even choose multiple contacts and of course you will have here everything set up now to actually share that calendar with that person of course for stuff like events and different things that you will have to do now right here you can see it says shared with it shows you with who you're sharing that calendar you can always tap here to remove that person or to enable or disable editing for that person for that calendar next up we're moving to the iMessage app so you have a conversation and of course they will have stuff that has been shared with you maybe like files or maybe links and stuff like that did you know that you can actually pin those into the conversation so the easiest way to do that simply 3d touch on whatever has been shared with you that you want to pin and tap that little pin button right here now this is different from pinning the conversations this will pin only a certain message now what you can do now is tap right there on the on the contact and of course you will have here all of your pins in one place now the good thing about this is that you will also get those pins in your safari app so when you go to safari you can see you will have this section shared with you right here and you will have everything that you have pinned right there ready to open within safari without having to go back to the conversation now if you don't see this section right here what you can do is tap on the edit button and make sure that you have shared with you enabled for safari next up is a simple trick that you need to do on the shortcuts app and it's pretty useful it might be useful in certain cases so go to the gallery of shortcuts and make sure you search for in case just type in case and this should pop up right now so here we have in case of emergency this is the shortcut that we need tap to add that shortcut and what you will get here is a shortcut that you set up and you can use in any case of emergency now the cool thing about this is that you can add your contact right here which you want to contact in case of an emergency so you tap the plus button and add the contact from your contacts list now once you have done that tap next and right here you can type your own message now there is a message already typed here but you can find basically add any message you want there which will be sent to that contact when you run this shortcut tap next here and then you will have here basically choose the key contact that you you would like to send the customized instructions to so you want to send instructions to someone you can choose a contact here you can choose the same contact if you want to and once you have done that you tap next and you have here things that you say basically you have text here which you type giving instructions to what to do next when you run this shortcut so let's just type something there and you will have here another message like of course always like different instructions that you need to send to someone in case of an emergency maybe to grab maybe your med something like your pills or stuff like that so tap add shortcut and now you're good to go anytime you run this shortcut these contacts will be automatically contacted and of course get all the instructions that they need to have next up is a screenshot trick so you know with ios 15 when you go to the photos app and you go to one of your photos you will have that little i button that gives you information regarding what's on that picture well what you can do is also take a screenshot of something and just tap right there to view the screenshot and you can see if there's an image of something you can always tap that little i button right there 
and you can see it will give you zero knowledge maps instructions to that place maybe if it's in a place and then of course it will also show you different images of that object or whatever you have typed the i message the i button too so you will get here a bunch of different images from the web and of course you can always go ahead and visit these directly from here the next tip is for the keyboard you can replace a word with an emoji so go to general go to keyboard right here and go to text replacement so here i have the replace smile with the smiling emoji the way to do that always is go ahead add the phrase right there and add the shortcut so whenever you tap smile it will automatically be replaced with that emoji so if i go here to imessage and tap smile You can see right now, all I have to do is tap the space bar and it will replace that with an emoji, which is really, really cool. And of course, very easy to do. Now, what you can do, another thing with emojis is use them to actually name your folders. That's really cool. You maybe didn't think that you can do that, but you can always go ahead and replace the name of your folders with an emoji. Just like that, you can go ahead and add an emoji as the name of the folder. It looks pretty cool. And of course, it will help you like categorize your folders and know what kind of apps you have on certain folders. When typing a message or anything else on iOS, you will have, of course, a bunch of words that can be replaced with an emoji. Now, the easiest way to replace them is not by searching emojis. All you have to do after you have typed all the text you want, just tap the little emoji button and you can see those words that can be replaced will turn orange. So you can tap right there and it shows you the selection of emojis that you have. And you can, of course, go ahead and replace those words with those emojis as easy as that. You can always tap on that word to go back and, of course, get the word instead of the emoji. Now, with FaceTime on iOS 15, now you can create links, basically send links to someone to invite them to join a FaceTime call. But did you know that if you tap on create link, you can tap right here, add name. Now, what you can do here is add a name for that link. Once you have done that, that link will no longer be like FaceTime link, but it will have the name that you have just put it on. You can, of course, always share this and you can see it says test right there. And now, of course, right here, it says join my FaceTime. But of course, you can replace that always with any text you want. And of course, get like more details there when you send the message to someone, let them know at which hour or what are you talking about what will happen and of course what's the conversation maybe on that facetime call so as easy as that you can customize your facetime links when you want to send them to someone a pretty useful feature of ios is voice over with voice oh. A pretty useful feature of iOS is voice control. Now with voice control, you will be able to control your device completely using your voice. Now a really cool trick is to use this to actually take pictures, especially when taking selfies, if you just want to move your hand all the way out. And of course you can't reach any of the buttons. You can use this trick. So as long as you have voice control enabled, all you have to do go to the camera app and you can see right here it shows you the names now to show the names of all the buttons you will need to go to overlay here and choose what you want to see you can choose none or you can choose item names or item numbers so what i can do now is simply say tap take picture and just like that, as you can see, the device will take a picture. As easy as that, you can use voice control to actually take pictures without having to use your hands. If you have AirPods, then you can use AirPods to boost your conversations. Basically, better listen to someone when they're talking, maybe on a loud environment, or maybe your hearing is not that good, you can use your AirPods for that. So go to settings under accessibility, make sure you go right here to audio and visuals, and make sure you have turned on headphone accommodations from here. Now what you need to do is make sure you have added hearing to your control center. Go to settings, control center, and make sure you have, have basically have added hearing to the control center. Go to control center, 3D touch on hearing, and right you will have headphone accommodations, and right there make sure you enable transparency mode. And what you can do from now is go ahead and enable conversation boost. Now you can do that from here, and you're right now you're boosting your conversation, ambient noise reduction, you can go ahead and reduce the ambient noise 
from here by simply using the slider, put it all the way up and the ambient noise will be reduced really, really good. So this is a pretty cool feature that it will of course help you better listen to your conversation. And last but not least, a very simple one, probably a lot of people don't know about, you can actually have your iPhone read anything that's on the screen. So go to your settings, go under accessibility right here, go to spoken content and make sure you have enabled speak screen. Once you have done that, whenever you're on the website or somewhere, you want to read something, you don't want to actually read it yourself, you can have your iPhone read that for you. Simply drag two fingers like this, it will start speaking the screen. And you can see right here, you can skip forwards or go backwards, pause and play and of course change the speed as well. You can hide the controller right here or pop up the controller anywhere you want and of course even move it anywhere you want on the screen. That's the easiest way to actually have your iPhone speak anything that's on the screen. Simply swipe from there and you're good to go. The iPhone will start actually speaking everything that's on the screen automatically. So that's basically it for this video guys, these are 10 very useful tips and tricks that come directly from Apple and iPhone users should know about them. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, of course don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.